Hello everyone, I just wanted to shoot a very short video on how to clean your septic tank filter. I run um, a septic tank that, since my lagoon's higher than the house, it actually pumps the septic tank on up to the lagoon. Pretty much all drains in this house go down into my septic tank, and as you can see, here's my house, come through. I have a clean out there. And I have a clean out over here. And then here, here's my two tanks. Um, so sewage comes in and then there's a filter right here, which I'll show you in a little bit. And then in this tank is where the actual pump is housed and it actually runs it on up. So all you need really to clean out your septic filter, what I use, you've got a hose and then I use a bucket a screwdriver to actually undo the screws to get to the uh, to the filter and then a kind of a scoop. I know this is probably going to be not a very pleasant video, but we'll go from there. So I'll bring everything over here. Now on the covers themselves, there's I usually just have two screws in, one there and one there. A lot of people say you should have four and do it at the four sides there. And then same thing with this. I've already pulled the screws out as you can see. And the first thing I'll do is pick up the hose and I'll come to my first clean out, pop the cap on it, and then spray down there and make sure that there's no foreign objects and that water's flowing fine. As you can see, well, you can't see that well, but water's flowing through. Then I'll go to the next clean out. This is where it actually enters into the tank. Spray down in this. Make sure it's all rinsed out really well. Make sure water's still flowing through. And then I'll put that back on. And then I come over here to the actual first tank itself. This is where the filter is going to be housed at. So I'll go ahead and pull up the lid. And I apologize for anything that may be in here. And as you can see, the blue item right there, that's, that's your filter. This is the out. This is discharging it to the, to the pump tank. So I don't know if you can see it. But right about there is a float. Once that float raises up high, it actually kicks the pump on and then that pumps the water out to the lagoon. So let's get started. So the first thing I usually do is just kind of see if I can set this up. Is kind of just look for any big objects. Sorry, <laughs> look for anything that might be down here that could impede the, the flow through the filter or clog it up. And I kind of scoop those out, throw them into the bucket. Now you'll see a lot of white stuff. That's just grease, but that grease will clog up your filter a lot quicker. So I always try to scoop out the grease and anything that could get caught in the filter itself that would jam and cause it to overflow. And then what I do next is I go ahead, you just turn the filter a little bit and just pull the filter straight out. Once you have the filter out, you can see what mine looks like. They have other ones that are brushes and I'll put a link on these in case. I've heard good things about the brush ones. Stuff, it, it lets it flow through a lot quicker. But this is the one I've had since I've been here. So then, all you really need to do is just kind of spray it off. <laughs> Pick an inconspicuous area on your lawn, I guess. It may need fertilizer, I don't know. And just spray it down. Kind of like that. And once it looks clean, I come back over and just kind of set it to the side. And then 
I'll come back here and let me come. Okay. So then I take in here and try to scoop any debris that would be inside where the, the filter housing's at. Once I've got it fairly clean, then I'll just kind of spray it, try to spray it out a little bit. This will also spray anything that's stuck to the outside of the housing to kind of get that circulating again. And there you go. Now if you come, what their housing is white and the other half is blue. And if you kind of look on the white side, there's, it's very thin notches. And on the blue side, you can't really tell, but there's bigger holes for um, water to go through. And for the longest time, I thought it was the other way around, but you want it this way because it's harder for the debris to get through those slits than it is these big holes, and that will jam your filter up. So right now, <clears throat> so everything looks good right now. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the filter back in. Everything's clean. And you just kind of set it in and give it a slight turn. Taking notice that the, the white's still on this side. You could spin this thing, this housing, all the way around if you wanted. But try to keep the white part with the small slits to the tank itself and the bigger holes more to the drain that leaks into the second tank. They say you should clean your filter out once every two to three months. I do mine about once a month just to make sure it doesn't backflow or get clogged up because once it gets clogged up that water is going to start, it's going to rise and it's going to go over the, the barrier wall there into the second tank and you don't want big hunks of stuff floating around in the pump tank because that could jam your pump up. Also you should have the tanks themselves, someone come out and service them and they'll come out with a pump truck and they will actually pump both tanks dry, spraying it down, making sure everything's clean and there's no debris in there. And then you're good to go for a while longer. Just make sure to have that done at least once every four to five years. And that's kind of, really, that's all the maintenance I really do with this septic tank. You know, besides failures, maybe the pump goes out or something like that. Uh, thank you very much and thanks for coming to tophomeowner.com. Have a good day.